it's me ex canadensis welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel if you're new here i post new dog related videos every single day and today i'm so excited because we are going to be unboxing and reviewing barbie extra number 20 who might be my favorite barbie doll that has released in the past decade or more i am so excited about this one i don't even know where to begin to describe how excited i am about her she's just so different from anything we've seen in a long time from barbie if not ever i'm just i'm so i'm so ready for her she's beautiful i can't wait to see if she is as cool out of the box as she seems to be in the box so if you guys don't know i am an affiliate with entertainment earth and they actually allow me to pick out dolls to review for you guys and this was one of the dolls that they sent to me so huge thank you to entertainment earth and please check them out if you're interested in shopping barbie or other dolls i'll link them in the description and if you use my code all the information about it will be in the description it supports the channel and it gives you a bonus as well so without further ado let me show you so first check out this beautiful artwork I just, the Barbie Extra line, I was on the fence, like, I liked them, I thought they were pretty cool, but I wasn't, like, fully on board, but recently, oh my god, they've been so amazing. And this wave in particular, by the way, like, I like them all, but this one and this one in particular are just incredible, incredible, just something so different that we haven't really been seeing from Barbie, it's just, I'm so excited. I don't always include the unboxing time lapse, but this was... <laughs> They changed the packaging design and I did not know where to go from there. I'm t I'm getting rid of it, obviously, so it doesn't matter, but yeah, oops. <laughs> Here she is out of the packaging and she is just so beautiful. Every detail is done so well. I'm completely in shock. I can't wait to get a closer look at all of the different details and feel all the different textiles that they used on this doll. I'm just in disbelief. I really, really am tempted to get the rest of this line now just because I'm that impressed with this doll and I haven't even reviewed her yet. So first of all, this was my biggest fear. Um, I was worried her hair might be polypropylene because Mattel's been doing that a lot lately with the um, like fun colored hair. It's saran. It is beautiful saran. It even has uh, three different colors of saran. You've got some blue, you've got some darker purple, and then you've got this really pretty like icy purple i don't really know how to describe it it's so gorgeous it looks so good on her and then um mine has pretty messy hair right out of the packaging but that's it's saran like that's what's to be ex expected unless it has wax in it which it doesn't and she has these butterfly clips which are actually sewn in right now but they function as barrettes as you can see you can see that right there and again mine has her hairstyle a little messy i'll probably redo it because i kind of want to give her those little pigtails that stella monroe from rainbow high has and then this is what her hair looks like it's saran so of course it's very thickly rooted um we've got paint with that light purple but it's actually strangely coming off quite a bit but anyway super thick hair like you can see i'm having trouble even getting to the scalp really really pretty and then just a very simple hairstyle just the like front pieces pulled to the back now it's time to look at the face. This could have been a generic Millie again, and she still would have been like my favorite Barbie doll, but they really gave us this, like the most gorgeous face of Water Barbie. Wow, she's pretty. If y'all know what face sculpt this is, can you let me know what other dolls have it? Cause I'd like to look into it. But this like very simple face sculpt with a nice like bold medium brow, the brown eyes are gorgeous. I love the brown under eyeliner too. I think that looks really good. And the shape of the eyes, the purple eyeshadow, the lips are incredible. I love the lip color. I think it matches so well. And like, ugh, I really love her. I love her so much. I want to reroute like 10 of this doll. And then I love the flower earrings. I know this is going to mean nothing to anybody, but they remind me of the Pikmin flowers, like the exact shape. And I know it's just a generic flower shape, but it makes me happy. And it's on her dress too, which makes me even happier. Um, and they're very, very cute earrings. I super, super like them. And then she, this is going to be like the first Barbie extra doll that I do not take a single accessory off of her. Like, I love them all. They all actually match. Usually the problem with Barbie extra accessories is that some will be like plated and some won't, or there will be some not matching. But even though this is like a very colorful outfit, like they've matched everything so well. I, I love it so much. Anyway, so she has this white necklace that looks like those really cute little beads that kids will make like friendship bracelets out of, which is super cute, matches her style really, really well. And then we've got these chunky plastic chains. They're supposed to look like plastic chains with a little plastic ring in the middle. Very, very cute. Again, very like I don't know aesthetic names, but it's very, like, kiddish and fun. Um, not saying it's, like, childish to wear something like this, but you know it reminds you of, like, childhood. It's nostalgic. It's cute. And then this shirt is so cute! And the material is a knit material, so kind of like your t-shirt would be. I love it. I love it. I love the flowers. They're so funky and fun. I wish there weren't tea ties, because you can see this little hole, but if I steam that, it'll um, work its way back. In fact, it's already working its way back. 
I love it. I love it. It's so cute. Also, if you can't tell, she is on the curvy body, which is really cool because I don't, I think I only have one other Barbie extra doll on the curvy body, if I recall correctly. Um, and then, of course, this is the main draw to the doll for a lot of people is this amazing knit jacket. Oh my god, I love this. Okay, so first of all, yes, it's actually knitted. It's beautiful. Um, it's a real shame that Mattel doesn't utilize like knit stuff like this more because clearly they can. I hope that this is a sign of the times and they continue to do this because I know that this doll having so much detail and quality is because uh, Mattel's trying to um, rise to the competition and if they do more stuff like this, they're flourishing and I want to see more. Oh my god. This, to me, reminds me so much of, like, the really, really high-quality, amazing doll lines of the early 2000s. Just, and I know there's been knit doll accessories in the past, but they're so few and far between. And this one just hits it out of the park so much. I really want to see more. These are always my favorite. They're just so beautiful. Beautiful. And usually I wouldn't like these big plastic butterflies. In fact, I was planning on cutting them off. But now that I have the doll in front of me... The sculpt is good enough that I actually think they look quite nice. And the fact that they didn't put, like, the purple one on the purple fabric, because that would have looked goofy. Instead, they kind of, you know, spaced them out. I think it actually looks super good. And I love how oversized this is. Like, how cute is this? This is the Barbie accessory. This is, like, the best Barbie clothing piece of the millennia. Oh, my God. Isn't it amazing? It's so cute. Oh, my God. I just noticed this. She has a giant butterfly ring. Oh! And the wing details are sculpted in. Oh my god. I want more of this. I bet that's a new sculpt. I've never seen that before. And then she has a little scrunchie here. I might, I know I said I wasn't going to remove any pieces, but I might actually remove the scrunchie. It doesn't really match any of the other colors. It's cute. Um, but it's a little bit too dark and like vibrant of a purple for me. It's like a royal purple when nothing else really is. Everything else is pretty, not pastel. I don't know how to describe the color. <laughs> anyway. I have um, a doll stand around her. She did not come with a doll stand. If Barbie Extra Dolls came with doll stands, that would, like, set them apart so much. I wish that they did. But anyway, on the curvy body, you can fit it on the waist, but I generally do it on the thigh. But if you need a link to these stands, I have a video about them. I'll link it in the description. Anyway, so she's wearing what's supposed to look like little, like, colored denim shorts. They almost look like they have, like, an acid wash thing to them, but maybe it's just supposed to look like she DIY'd them. Anyway, if you're noticing what I'm noticing, there are working pockets. So let me get her little sunglasses and show you they are deep nice pockets isn't that amazing and there's even decorative stitching we've got this like um faux distress i mean it is actually distress sorry but you know like a distressed short really nice look at the it's just amazing i wh where did this come from <laughs> Barbie Extra has been improving quite a bit, but this one feels like she came out of left field, but I guess I haven't been collecting too many of the more recent Extra Dolls. My most recent was the Raquel looking one. And then if we move down, by the way, you can see all this stuff. This is all from like, um, having knit accessories and saran hair will make things shed, but it's not worrisome. It'll just do it a little bit when you first get her. Anyway, then she has these really funky, like cowboy boots that are semi-transparent. I like them. I like them a lot. Um, and even better, I think these are a new sculpt too, because look, they have those flower motifs and the little butterfly wing. How cute are these? They might just be a modified sculpt of something else. These are amazing. These are amazing. Oh my god, I love this doll. I love this doll. Alrighty, so let's set her aside, and she comes with some accessories. So uh, most of her accessories are on her person, but she has these sunglasses. I'm not really sure what I'm looking at. Like, what is this part? I don't know. But they're kind of flower looking. They're funky. And they're see-through enough that I think they're going to be fun. Mine, unfortunately, has this, like, line on it. Uh, and it's not a hair or, like, a... I think it's a scratch. I don't know. Um, but that's okay. I don't really use doll sunglasses anyway. Especially not on her. Her face is so pretty. And then we have her pet, which is this really cute little koala. I wish that they'd do more pets like this instead of all the dogs and cats. I mean, I like dogs and cats, obviously, but more fun ones. Like, this is so fun. And the sunglasses are super loose because, I mean, they're sitting on this cheek fluff, not on the ears or anything, but they're very, very cute. They, they would, like, they remind me a lot of Little's Pet Shop sunglasses. Like, there were Little's Pet Shop sunglasses that look very similar. And you can see, too, this weird, um, molding defect, but that's, like, in the mold for them, I think. I think it's the way they attach the arms to the glasses. I don't know. Um, this guy's adorable. Super, super cute. And then we have this bag, I was really blown away when I saw this because it's actually painted. It's got this sunset, like, ombre from, like, yellow to orange. I mean, the yellow is just the color of the bag, but then we have the orange to pink here. 
How cool is that? I mean, it's probably just one color of paint that they just used less here and more here, but isn't that so nice? really would not have expected painted accessories on the stall. I mean, we already had the painted accessory with the Barbie necklace and the earrings, so I'm actually in shock about this. This is so cool. And it doesn't open or anything, but this is a really nice accessory. Normally I don't like purses that come with dolls because they're usually just one hunk of plastic, like it's not that interesting, um, and they're not usually painted, but this is really nice actually. I don't super like it with her clothing or her outfit in general because, I mean, the scrunchie, the boots, and this just don't match her overall color scheme, so I'll probably swap them out, but I do like the accessories. And then she also comes with stickers, which is new. I really like these. The pineapples are kind of random, um, but they're actually like semi-puffy stickers, you can see. I mean, they're not like squishy, they're hard, but they're they're three-dimensional a little bit. Really cute. I'm use them on my planner, right on the cover. This is actually my planner's color scheme, the, the pink and blue, so that works out. And yeah. Reminder that this doll was sent to me for free for the purposes of review by Entertainment Earth. They allow me to pick some stuff out so that I can show off the different product lines that they have on their website. And I picked this doll and I am so glad that I did. She is amazing. If you guys are interested in this doll or any other type of stuff that Entertainment Earth has to offer, they support this channel a lot and provide a lot of dolls that um, I get to share with you guys and it's really awesome. So if you want to support them or help support me, check the description for more information. But even if you don't want to use like my links or codes or anything, I highly recommend you check them out because especially for harder to get Barbies, like uh, Barbie looks and some Monster High stuff, you can pre-order. And now it's time for my final thoughts. So I have to say I am completely blown away. I mean, I was blown away from the second I saw this design, uh, but holding the doll in my hand, she's even better than I thought she was from the design. I am so blown away. She's gorgeous. What a beautiful doll. What an incredible design, which by the way, she was designed by the same person who designed Gooby, my beloved. I love him so much. So um, obviously she was destined to be great. Um, and apparently that I think this was that designer's first Barbie. Um, I hope that she works on Barbie a lot more because wow. Um, I'm, I'm speechless truly. Like I, I can say she's gorgeous and amazing and her design is really cool over and over again, but I don't know. I've noticed that Barbie Extra has been getting a lot better. Like, these were the last two, some of the last two that I opened. I didn't bring over the rabbit uh, Barbie one. But, like, this textile is really nice and unusual to see on a doll. I really liked all the plated accessories on this one. But then this skirt, I hated. Um, I mean, it's cute. I don't, I, I shouldn't say hate it, but I just hate this material because over time it loses its shine and gets really messed up. And then also this is really ugly that there's that white right there because of the ruffle, because they really could have left out the ruffle and I wouldn't have been as upset about it. But, um, there's also ones like this doll where I really liked her accessories. Her face is glorious and I love her hair, but they gave her what I'm pretty sure is polypropylene hair. It's super, super dry at the bottom. Luckily it's styled, but still that's very disappointing if you like doing hair play on dolls, which I imagine most people do because that's a big part of what makes dolls dolls um and then um her shirt was fine like I don't mind the shirt it it's it's what it's supposed to be uh the pants were like egregious to me I do not like them and then the shoes come out of nowhere and don't match like um there was a lot of things with Barbie extra like that where I think it was just like a budgeting concern because this design I bet if it was executed properly not that it wasn't executed properly I shouldn't say that but if it was executed to the greatest that it could have been it would have been like really fantastic like I think this shirt and the pants could have been so much better um and her having poly polypropylene hair was a huge disappointment because she has such long, fun hair that I would think a big selling point of this doll would, when you're looking at her is like, oh my gosh, I want to style that hair. But uh, it will not. And by the way, I'm not just being like a like a uppity jerk, like, oh, polypropylene is the cheap hair or anything. Polypropylene legitimately crumbles and like falls apart over time really, really bad. Other hair types can do that, but it's not observed as often in Saran. Some colors of nylon have been observed to do it, but not really. Polypropylene is... Um, it does not have a good shelf life. Like, I have some toys from around 20 years ago that have polypropylene or acetate hair, it's hard to say, especially at that age, um, where you can literally just, like, touch it and it will crumble into dust. Like, it's not even just that it's falling apart or falling out, it's crumbling into dust. Um, so that's why I'm not a big fan of polypropylene, just to be clear. Like, it looks beautiful, I don't mind it necessarily, but it's the longevity of it that concerns me, and when I'm paying $25 for a doll, <laughs> I want her to last, you know, um, it, if you're going to, like, make a product, you should at least make sure it lasts more than a decade or two, you know? Um, anyway, that is it for this video. I cannot wait to, um, see if I can get a hold of more of the dolls from this Barbie Extra wave, as well as, uh, what's coming next from Barbie Extra, because they have been 
really, really impressing me. I really hope we see more of the other body types in Extra too, because I don't think I have any petite dolls from Extra. I don't think I have any tall ones, and I have two curvy ones. They're not really doing a whole lot. When they have a lot of different body types uh, with Barbie now that don't really cost extra to do because you already you already made them, you know, the sculpting cost was the part that costed a lot of money, but now it's here. It exists. Um, and they've been doing a pretty good job of it in the looks line, but not really an extra. So I hope we see more of it. But extra, extra is very impressive. I hope it continues for a long time so we can continue to see more of what they have to offer, especially if they're going to continue down this route. I just love, because I feel like extra, even though not all of the looks are my cup of tea, like I'm not super into this style of fashion that she has on. I like a lot of the elements of it, but I'm not a big oversized t-shirt person. Sorry, I dropped her. Um, I, I don't know what this is getting at, but it might be somebody else's fashion that they like a lot. It's just not personally my favorite, but I like having dolls that have fashion styles that aren't necessarily the one that I would wear, right? If every single doll that I owned could be wearing a little plaid skirt, like, and a turtleneck, that exact outfit, they you, that would be very boring. I would I would love them, actually, but, you know, I like to see different fashion styles represented, and Barbie really has a lot of wiggle room to do that because Barbie is basically a blank slate, right? Like this doll is labeled Barbie. She could be labeled Barbie as the brand or that's literally Barbie. It, I mean, if you're going by the logic in the new movie, they are all literally named Barbie except characters like Midge. Um, and you know, this is Barbie, right? This, this is Raquel, but this is Barbie, you know? Um, I mean, she's labeled as Barbie. She's not labeled as Raquel, but that is Raquel. Um, so Barbie is this blank slate character that can be literally anything, and that's the point. So you can really experiment and have fun with fashion styles, and I feel like Extra really, really um, does that. You know, they've given a lot of room to be able to do that, but I feel like we haven't been seeing a whole lot. Like, we've been seeing a lot of maximalist-type styles, which is really cool, but these two are totally different from that. They're a completely different thing going on, and I really like that. Um, and I, I'm happy to see more maximalist stuff, because that's the point of the extra line, right? Um, it's that they're very maximalist, but I hope we see more other styles too, and I really like that you can take a very maximalist design, like, none of these are wearing all of their stuff that they came with, well, she is, but these two are not wearing all the stuff that they came with, but you can take a really, like, busy design and tone it down to this, if that's what you prefer, or you can, and that gives me all those extra pieces to work with, so I think extra is super fun, and now that the clothing quality seems to be really, really ramping up, by the way, I forgot to say, this is, like, um, it's not a denim. I was saying it's like a denim mimic, like looking material. It's like, it's just a simple, like, it's not called broadcloth, but it's like a polyester, like just a simple polyester. It's not stretchy or anything, but it's nice and it gets the job done. It looks good. Um, but yeah, that's what I have to say here. I'm just, Barbie Extra is very, very promising to me and I cannot wait to see more. Uh, that's it. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. <laughs> Let me know what you think. Also, who's your favorite Barbie Extra so far and why is it her? I'm kidding. Let me know who your favorite actually is, please. Okay, for all this time, bye.